Hi, this is Amy at the Alti Store. We are here at the seventh annual Installer Conference 2018, and I'm here with Ken from Primus, and we're going to talk a bit more about some of the different blade options for their air family. Uh, we just did a video talking about the wind turbine in general, so you can check that out. And now we're gonna talk about the different blades. Hello. Excellent, great to be here again at Alt-E. And again, I'm Ken from Primus Wind Power. We're the manufacturer of this little, cute little micro turbine here. And when you're, when you're dealing with wind, you wanna know your wind regime. As we spoke about in the previous video that you should check out, the most important thing is your wind regime. If you have a four meters per second or greater winter, again, winter wind speed, yeah. you're a good candidate for a hybrid system combining solar and wind together. Now you want to determine, okay, based on that wind speed and that, that wind regime that you're in and the tower height that your turbine's mm. going to be at, what type of blade set or what type of turbine do you want? This particular turbine is an air breeze turbine. It has this blade set here. This is our Air 40 air breeze blade set a little bit wider blade set, yeah. um, re relatively quiet, 65 decibels max. So uh, that's pretty quiet. Your typical dishwasher is about 50 decibels. All right, so all relatively right. quiet. You start to hear a little whistling at about 24 to 26 miles per hour of wind, um, but really a very quiet blade set. We have another blade set with our Air 30 Air X turbine, and that's this blade set. And you can see the surface area difference yeah. is different between these two blade sets. Um, and the reason why is because this blade set is a little bit stiffer. Okay. So it's designed to be a little bit quieter than this blade set. In fact, quite a bit quieter. This is our old Air X blade set. Many right. people are familiar with this blade yeah. set. The, um, the, the Air 40, the Air Breeze blade set is, has 30% more surface area. Mm. So it's better in low to moderate wind speeds. Right. This is better in a higher wind speed regime. Okay. So mountaintops, um, applications offshore, right. high telecom towers, yeah. anywhere where you're going to have a high wind regime, right. this is the blade set to go with. Right. So oil and gas, telecom, offshore buoy applications, yeah. offshore oil and gas right. applications. Right. But the disadvantage of this, because good comes with the bad of sometimes. Course. It's not always all good, uh, of course. Amy, <laughs> is this blade set is louder. Yep. Yeah. It's over 100 decibels compared to the Air 40 Air Breeze blade set, right. which is this one, right. which is under 65 decibels. Oh, okay, okay. So this one's very loud. And yep. the reason why, Amy, is because what happens is at high wind speeds yep. and high RPMs, this tip begins to flutter uh, yeah, back yeah, and yeah, forth. Yeah. And that causes the, right. the sound output. Right. But again, you're, if you've got this on an oil rig, that's going to be the, the, probably the quietest right. thing on the rig right. anyway. Right. <laughs> so. Telecom platform yeah. out in the middle yeah. of nowhere, yeah. top of a mountaintop. It. Right. Most people in those applications don't care. They want the power output. Yep. Yep. And if you have a high wind speed, the reason why we can generate more power from this blade set, it spins at a higher RPM. Uh, yep. 1,800 RPMs versus 1,200. Oh, okay. And so at That's those, significant. Yep. At those high RPMs, you're going to get more yep. uh, amps out of the turbine. Beautiful. So if you absolutely need a very quiet blade set, oh. and this is the blade set we use, Amy, and this is for our um, cruising sailboat market yep. primarily, um, and it's a beautiful carbon fiber. It is lovely. Blue. It is. Isn't that color? <laughs> this is pretty. Blue color. Cobalt blue. <laughs> it's got um, these, you may not be able to see, but it's got these aerodynamic trips yeah. on the leading edge of the blade. The trailing edge of the blade is very sharp, which makes for uh, a very nice laminar flow. You have this tip, which is beveled or curved. Right. Just like, see this tip is flat. Yeah. So all these little features, it's super smooth. All these little features uh, make for a very, very quiet blade set. So less than 40 decibels. Gotcha. And so again, it's an expensive blade set, right. more expensive than these molded injected right. plastic fiberglass. This is carbon fiber. Right. But, um, you know, silence is golden. Uh, right. Yeah, on, on a boat, uh, y you would definitely want to pay the extra to have that quiet. Absolutely. And then there's some applications that we have, land applications, where the customer wants a very quiet right. blade set. And so any of our turbines can be upgraded to this blade set. Nice. So if, if, you're, if you have a turbine out there and you say, God, I'm, I, this, this turbine, it's an Air X, it's too loud, you can always upgrade. Sweet. to this blade set, which would make it substantially quieter. Right, right. Um, it would be a great upgrade if you have an old Air X. So, blue, blue, we call them the blue blade set. And we have kits, uh, upgrade kits for all of our turbines. Cool. So, different blades, different wind regimes. Right. But again, Amy, what's most important? You gotta know your wind resource. Yes. 
And if your wind resource is less than four meters per second, you gotta ask yourself, is the turbine right for me? Right. Or should I add more solar? Right, right, excellent. Well, thank you very much. Thank this you. was really helpful. And thanks for watching. Make sure to like and share and subscribe and go to our website at altistore.com to get more details about the products uh, where we've been making renewable doable since 1999.